Hello Hillion, Mighty and Armored Porgy are actually decent materials that can easily be farmed. Today, let's learn why they're decent and the best places to get a whole bunch of them. If you don't know me, I'm Nico and I love doing everything possible in Zelda games. If you need help doing or finding anything in Zelda games, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. Both Porgy are great for eating. If you eat either of them raw, they will heal Link by one heart. If you burn them, they become Roasted Porgy which heals Link for one and a half hearts, each one eaten. When freezing either of them, they will become Frozen Porgy which heals Link for one heart and gives one minute of heat resistance. When cooking, Mighty Porgy gives attack up and Armored Porgy gives defense up. These two are the strongest materials for their dish modifier because you only need three to reach level three. Or you can use two and one of any other attack up or defense up material. Also remember that you can add a dragon horn to make any dish last for 30 minutes. If you need help farming horns, check the card in the corner or the link in the description. Also for attack up, banana is a really good option. If you need help finding lots of bananas, check the card in the corner or the link in the description. For farming Porgy, it's not that bad to farm. You can buy three of both Porgy from the Lurlin General Store and this would be the area to farm them. There's a whole bunch everywhere but let me show you the hot spots. Having a shock arrow would be nice, some extra stamina dishes and speed dishes are great. If you need help making some dishes, I've got a video for that too. Check the card in the corner or the link in the description. There's one spot in the middle of these three rocks south of Lurland Village with 15 mighty Porgy. Next, there are 4 spots with 30 Porgy, for whatever reason, 14 armored ones and 16 mighty ones. They are here, south of the Cape Crescia hook, in the middle of the hook, one in the middle between the Point and Eventide Island, and another east of the Cape Kales Cliff. You can even notice a flock of birds above looking for some dinner. And the last place requires some work and that's at the Eris Beach. There's more than 50 Porgies here but there are some enemies. Fighting the enemies may cause the Porgies to scatter or you can sneak below all the enemies. Also there is a treasure chest in the middle of Eris Beach that basically is impossible to get. So you can ignore it. If you like random facts like this, this video has 145 things I wish I knew when I started playing Breath of the Wild. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. See you next time!